<clears throat> YouTube. What's good, man? It's your boy Keith, fam. Wanted to make this video, man, to inspire you guys. Inspire you guys to get up, man. Inspire you guys, man. Like, you no, know, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something, man. I wasn't always, you know, handsome. I wasn't always tall, the tallest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wasn't always uh, confident in myself, man. You mean, bro? I had, I had to go through things, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to go through things, fam. A lot of things, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got failures, bro. Shit, those shit, those failures, man, those that those those things are what are what shaped me for today. You know what I'm saying, bro, I, I had to go through it, man. I had to go through it, bro. bro. Real talk. You know what I mean the constant the constant getting fired, bro. The constant failures I had, bro. Just getting fired from different jobs, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, just getting, like... You know, just getting rejected by different women. You know what I'm saying? Even even the ones in the relationship that I had, man. Just, just, just hearing that word, no. Just... Just feeling the... The, the, the fucking... The, the disgrace... The pain that that women and that you know jobs, even even friends, bro, family, whatever, other people put me through, fam. Even though I didn't even, I didn't even want none of those things to happen to these people, bro. You feel me? I had to go through it though. You know what I'm saying? The most high put me through it. You know what I mean? Just like he's putting you through it. You know what I mean? You might be sad, bro. You might be sad about something right now, bro. And it's like, man, why? When you you asking why? Why do I have to go through this? Why? Bro, I'll never forget, bro. I'll never forget, bro. I'll never forget, fam. Bro, I had got cut from the basketball team, bro. I'll never forget that, bro. That that shit... That shit felt like a gunshot wound. No cap. I'll never forget that shit, bro. I cried, bro. I cried, bro. When, when I got cut, bro, I cried. Niggas been playing basketball their whole life. When I got cut, uh, what, 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 what year was that? Was that, uh, I think that was 11, 11 grade. I got cut. My 11th grade year, man. And I fucking cried. The year after I put in work, though. So I can redeem my fucking self. You know what I mean? But I cried, bro. And that year, I was dealing with women, bro. I was dealing with a girl, with my, with my girlfriend. I was dealing with a girl. Bro, I was deeply in love, bro. And when I tell you, bro, that year was the worst year I ever dealt with. It was the worst, man. It was a lot of manipulation going on, dog. It was a lot of manipulation going on, dog. I'm not even going to get into it. I'll get into it a different... I'll, I'll make a separate video about that. But right now, we're just going to talk about our failures, man. But, bro, I had to go through it, fam. I had to. I had no other choice. I had no other choice, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was so naive, man. I was so, I was so, like, my heart was, like, so damn pure. It wasn't even, like, I, I thought, you mean, like, you, like, it'd be things where it's like, yo, like, why the fuck did that happen when I, I don't, my intentions is pure. My intentions is, like, it, what the fuck, right? And you just don't understand it. And it just happens to you. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> time and time after again, you go to work. You go to work. You go to work. You go to work. You put in the work. You go to work. You put in the work. Each and every single day. And the job don't even fucking respect you. The job don't even fucking 
They don't care about you. And you going to work every day. I don't give a fuck. Hey, send the next man. Fire this nigga right here. Send the next motherfucker. That's how, that's how they think, bro. That's how corporate think. You just another fucking body. Ready? Ready to just... For another motherfucker to leave, man. You know what I mean? For another for, for another motherfucker to join to join ain't shit. For you. Each and every fucking time I get a job. Boop, terminated. You're fired. Boop, what? You're fired. For no reason. For no reason. Now now, granted, it was a couple jobs. You know, I just left. No cap. I just left. I couldn't deal with it. Most of them? Bro. No reason, dog. I ended up going to school. I ended up going to school. It changed my perception, man, because how what what I had to go through in there. You know what I'm saying? I had to deal with people, man. I had to. You know, I had to share rooms with other guys. I had to. I had to share showers with other men. I had to. I had to share bro. We had a time. We had a time frame. You know what I'm saying? We we only had a gym. We had we only had a gym. That was our free time. At the school, boom, everybody was at the gym. Played basketball every single day. Because we didn't have Wi-Fi, right? I had my phone. I had to pay my bills, but but um there was no like good connection there. So it was like it was the point of the phone anyway, right? You know what I'm saying? But you know, I wasn't on my phone every day, bro. Niggas was in the gym. In the gym killing it, bro. You know what I mean? Uh now. This is what made us, man. Like what made us, man, was like we only get we only had got paid uh twenty three hour uh twenty three got twenty three dollars every uh two weeks, man. So I started my entrepreneurship uh during that time when I was in school. Uh I started selling things, man. I started selling snacks and stuff like that, you know, uh uh cigarettes, cause a lot of people love cigarettes down there, man. You know what I'm saying? Didn't matter what age you were. <laughs> like so, you know, I started I started selling things, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I can make more profit off of, you know, uh, the um, the money that we were getting every two weeks. You know what I mean, like, cause that wasn't enough to pay my bill. You know what I'm saying my bill was like what fifty eight dollars a month. So, you know, I had twenty three dollars. What the fuck is that, right? Every two weeks. So I had to do something, right? So I started selling things, and I actually made actually made great profit off the. Um, off the money we were getting every two weeks so i mean instead of 23 dollars every two weeks you know i'll be getting uh like 150 the ranges between 150 to 200 you know what i'm saying like that was good money man you know what i'm saying I, when at that time anyway when i was down there wasn't nobody else getting that you know what i mean except a couple of my boys you know what i'm saying yeah yeah but that's why it's also good to surround yourself with people that's on your type of time. You know what I'm saying? That's trying to grow with you. That understands the game. You know what I'm saying? So always surround yourself with people that's, you know, that's that's going positive. You know, that's on a positive road for themselves as well. So, and that's what I did, man. You know, so it, it made me look. So it made me look at life differently. Just a little bit. You know what I mean? It made me better as a person as well. I mean, it made me more disciplined. You know I mean, um, yeah, we had women down there. Yeah, I dealt. I dealt. I still was dealing with female nature. Best believe that. Yes, I, I dealt with female nature down there, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, you I mean I still was getting hurt and stuff like that, man. You know what I mean, and I had to learn. You know, I had to. I had to keep learning, keep learning, keep keep understanding what I was doing wrong. You get what I'm saying? And and how I was handling it. Um, I ended up staying there for a year. Um, I didn't get my my certificate for uh for where I, for where I was going for in my trade. Uh, I had got set up. Some guy was hating on me. 
You know what I'm saying? And he set me up. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to talk to him. Because he had beef with me. I wanted to talk to him. And uh, he didn't want to talk. He didn't want to talk. You know, uh, I told him, I said, come to my room. And he came to my room. And it took him a while to come to my room. It took him a while, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and now that I know why it took him a while, like, it's because he was setting me up. You know, he came in the room, he was talking, you know, and all he did was yell, bro. All he did was yell. That's it. He was not trying to fix the situation. And in my head, once once about probably five minutes into into like arguing with him, I'm like, oh, okay, I see what the fuck he's trying to do. He's trying to make me snap on him so I can get terminated. Because you can't, you're not allowed to fight. And as many times he fought motherfuckers, but you know, but he's the dorm president. You know, he had, he calls the shots, right? So he got what he wanted. I put my hands on him, right? And, and I didn't, I didn't hit him. All I did was grip him up and throw and throw him. Because I told him, I said, get the fuck out of my room. He didn't want to get out. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I tried to force him out and he started resisting. And, and once I threw him, I threw him and motherfuckers came in the room and stopped the shit. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and he told in the morning, uh, the RA told him not to tell. And he went to go tell on me, bro. In the morning, in the morning, dog, in the fucking morning, dog. When he fought at least three times and I didn't tell. What'd that tell you, man? Right. So I got terminated. Did they ask? Did they ask what happened in my story? Did they ask about my story? No, they did not. They just sent me home without even knowing. He told them that he had marks on his neck, which I don't. I don't even like, bro. Like, I, who knows if he did that? Cause I don't even remember I don't even remember me grabbing him that fucking hard. But he said he had marks on his neck and stuff like that. And he told him. You know what I'm saying? He's a manipulator, you know? And and he knew that I knew that. He knew that I knew that he was a bitch. And uh he wanted me out of there. And he did he wasn't cool with my boys. So and my boys was in the other dorm. So yeah. He got me out of there. He got he got what he wanted. And so this is where uh, COVID started to happen, right? I got kicked out. And that, when I had got kicked out, man, you know, it just made me realize. It just made me, it made me like, just catch that feeling, bro, that, 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 that like, I don't even know. Like, it just felt like, it was an urge, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like, that fire, that that fire and desire, nigga. You, you you get what I'm saying? Like it just something boiled, boiled in me. Like I'm just like, yo, I, I can't do this no more. I'm tired. I'm tired of failing and failing every single fucking time. Every time. Every fucking time. No matter what it is. No matter who I'm dealing with, female, jobs, family, whatever, relationships, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of failing for myself. I'm tired of looking at myself and not wanting to just look at myself and just be happy. I'm tired of it. So what did I do? What did I do? I started doing things differently. My failures started to shape who I was deep down. I put in the work for a year. For a solid year, I put in work. Working a job, still going to the gym, still doing calisthenics, whatever. When the gym wasn't open, I was doing I was working out in my house nonstop. Doing that in the house. Because of because of uh 19.
non fucking stop. And it shaped me, man. The following year, still doing the same shit. Still doing it and getting better. Got a new car. Started making YouTube videos. Getting to the bad, getting to it. Transforming my mindset each and every day, eating it, eating more healthier. Learning to be by myself, learning to love myself for who I am. Understanding that I can be great. Because I didn't understand my potential. I didn't know. I didn't, I didn't even know I had this potential. But since I put in the work, since I put in so much hard work onto myself, I started to blame myself for everything that happened. I blame myself. Instead of the excuses, I blame myself. So I can be the best self I can be. Everything that happened, I blamed it on me. And I said, you know what? I can't go back to this no more. All those failures, they meant something to me. What I'm saying is, bro, you have to fail. You have to fail to understand the path that you're going into. You have to fail to understand what's inside of you. You want to become your best for the best version of yourself? Fail a couple times. There's no, there's no, there's no, there's nothing wrong with failing. You're trying. You're going to find it, fam. Don't be afraid. Because when you're afraid to fail, what's going to happen? You're not going to do shit. You're just going to stay. You're just going to be stuck. Sitting in the same position. Don't be afraid to try, fam. Don't be afraid to, to, to do something new and, 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 it don't, and it don't work for you. Because I guarantee you, you're going to find what works for you. You're going to find it. Because I did. That's the video for today, man. Holla at your boy.